Hey guys, this is Ken, back again with another video, this time to show you the uh, GoPro Hero 8. Uh, I just did some light testing, just for you guys to have an idea. I also compared it with the Note 10 Plus's uh, cameras. I did some slight tests, I didn't like do a really in-depth test, but you can get an idea of one compared to the other, uh, mainly in terms of stabilization. So if you keep watching, you can see more testing that I did towards the end of the video. So see you guys, keep watching. Now here's a video test at uh, 4K, 60 frames per second, and I'm comparing both the GoPro Hero 8 and the Note 10 Plus. Now on the Note 10 Plus, at 60 frames per second, you have no stabilization whatsoever. So it's going to be a little bit shaky compared to the GoPro. And I'm just walking, just for you guys to have an idea. I want to start running. I'm trying to keep my arm still, but it's still shaking. I'm going up these stairs. You can see how shaky the Note 10 Plus is compared to the GoPro. And this is what it looks like with the GoPro at 60 frames per second with normal stabilization. So with Hyper Smooth on on the GoPro Hero 8 and the new 10 Plus at 4K 60 frames has no stabilization. You can see I'm panning here. Check, check the dynamic range. Run a little bit more. Now, uh, keep in mind that the uh, GoPro has a screen protector on, which could slightly affect the quality of the image in terms of reflections. So now you can have a look at what it looks like with um, boost off on the Hero on the GoPro Hero 8. Boost is off. This is what it looks like. Got a close up here.
So now with both cameras at 60 frames per second, you can see that the Note 10 Plus does not have a super steady, uh, it's not possible to activate super steady, so it's gonna be shaky. And you can see as I'm going down these stairs, you're going to see what it looks like. And on the, Hero, on the GoPro Hero 8, we have uh, HyperSmooth 2.0 activated, but no boost. Boost is not available at 60 frames per second. So you can get an idea what this looks like. Going down some stairs, running down. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go up the stairs again. So you can see that the Note 10 Plus is pretty shaky compared to the GoPro Hero 8 with the uh, HyperSmooth 2.0 activated. So pretty stable on the GoPro. It's an action cam after all, so it should work well in terms of stabilization. Once again, dynamic range. So you guys can see what this looks like. Have this shaded area right here as well. So pretty nice. So now I'm going to test this with a, the front facing camera, the rear front facing camera in, in the case of the Note 10 Plus, the main camera, where you can see what this looks like if you were vlogging. Uh, with the GoPro, you can see that it's pretty easy to get me into frame since it is a wide, it has more of a wider angle. And on the Note 10 Plus, it's not bad at all but um you, you be the judge to the quality of this and i'm holding both cameras at arm's length so you can see what this looks like in terms of stabilization should be pretty good both of them at 30 frames per second but in neither of them of course i don't have any screen to look at to see my framing so I'm kind of guessing that I'm into frame. I'm guessing that I'll be in frame. You can see what this looks like panning. So like I said, I'm using the main camera on the uh, Note 10 Plus and the normal camera, which is just one, of course, on the, on the Hero 8. So let's check out the, you can see the dynamic range in terms of shaded areas. And I'm gonna do it against the sun, to see how it looks against the sun. Let's see if I can get against the sun so you can see this. So now I'm against the sun can get an idea what it looks like. And you can see what it looks like at arm's length. I have, my arm is totally stretched out and I'm using a Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2 as a, uh, as a holder. I'm going up the stairs again. I'm gonna try running now up the stairs running. That's what it looks like. So I'm now filming uh, at 4K, 30 frames per second uh, in linear. So in 30 frames per second, 4K, 
uh, in terms of stabilization, you only have three lenses available. Now this is the first one, which is linear. So you can see what this looks like in terms of field of view. So now you have the second option with boost, which is the wide angle. So you have linear, wide. This is what it looks like with wide and boost mode activated. Going down the stairs again. And now we're going to test the third option with boost at 4K 30 frames per second. Now with boost at 4K 30 frames per second, you also have super view. So this is the third mode available with boost in 4K 30 frames per second. This is what it looks like with boost mode added, activated 4K 30 frames per second. Run down again. So you get a much wider uh, angle here with this lens. You want something that's compact that can fit in your pocket um, waterproof uh, rugged uh, stable gives you really really stable footage uh, really smooth stable footage especially if you have uh, boost mode on uh, it's a great option and you can even use it like as a second camera you can take your mobile phone for the lower light shots and then use the GoPro for um, action shots and you have all the mods that you can buy for this you have the media mod so you can um, attach a, an external microphone and the flip up screen for using this so you can vlog with this and give your get your framing so you can see your framing better um, 
It's definitely a great option, guys. Uh, you know, if I, if you ask me if I recommend this product, I absolutely recommend it. Uh, and if you're interested, you can check out the links in the description. I normally put the best possible prices there. And uh, yeah, make sure you check that out. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Leave your thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to hit the uh, bell icon to get any notifications of any new videos that I post out. And also leave your comments. What do you think about this video? What do you think about the camera? And, uh, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye-bye.